16, 17, 18, 18. Okie dokie. 20. Welcome back to Odd and Kate. We are live in Standale. Live studio audience. The neighbors <laughs> across from us while are watching. That's our, our audience. Just kidding. They like um, to watch us film TikTok. Yes. We're pretty sure. We haven't seen them do it. We don't it, know but if they actually look sure at us or not, have. but I can just feel it. Welcome to the Odd and Kate podcast. This is. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, what? <laughs> I'm sorry, what? I'm, I'm sorry, what? <laughs> <laughs> that was the one. That was good. So, a lot of people know. We love concerts. And if you are new, mm-hmm. we love concerts. Concerts are our, like, happy place. Yes. Like, I, it's just, like, fun to be, like, with a bunch of people who also, like, love, like, and enjoy the same music as you. It's just, like, it's All like having a, fun. It's and, a good vibe. Yeah. And we've been to so, so many, many in 2020, just in 2022. 20, yeah. A lot. We've seen, we saw Kehlani twice. We saw Jack Harlow. The weekend. The weekend. Um, games we play. Games we play. We went to I Party. Um, I want to say we saw eight in twenty twenty two, but yeah, I don't but remember. Yeah, but why can't I think of the other two? Well, okay. Well, Rico Nasty. Rico. Yeah. Can we? We can like count that. Can yeah. Because like of. that was like. We saw her twice. Too. Who opened for the weekend? Katy Ketra. Oh, Ketra. yeah, somebody we didn't know. You know, I think I think um, eight because we saw Kehlani twice. Yeah. Well, and we went to an EDM show. Oh, yeah. And. I, why can't I'm trying to think, think of, of like our concert vlogs. Yeah. Because it went Kehlani, Kehlani. No, The Weeknd. The Weeknd? Kehlani, twice. Jack Harlow, and then four. Then Games We Play. There's more than There's that. There's more. I, I don't know. Anyways, today we're going to talk about, like, our past We concerts. could take forever talking about... We have, like, as, like, frequent concert goers, we just, like, have a lot of, like, experiences and, like, tips and, mm-hmm. like, things that, like, we, like... That we'd like to share. To share our knowledge. Like, yes. yeah. Yeah. We, like, fully encourage people to go to concerts. It's yeah. so freaking We fun. like to think we're concert experts. Yeah, yeah. We've been to a few meet and greets. Let's start, like, with a meet Yeah, greets. we've been to... So we met a boy band pretty much twice. Mm-hmm. Um, back in the day, Autumn and I... Back in the Whoa! day, wow. Back in the day... My bun is too big. <laughs> back in the day, Autumn and I were super obsessed with this boy band pretty much. Well, we... I mean, we still, lo- we still love them, but I wouldn't say I'm, like... I'm not, like, obsessed. No, I'm not, like, in my boy band But we still listen to anymore. their music. Um, but we met them twice. Well, first... Like, me personally, I met a few of the Madcom boys when I was in high school, but that's, like, that that's, <laughs> like, different. Um, that was a whole experience in itself. That was terrible. Um, but... I'm still jealous that you got to do that. We met them, and then they put us on a stairwell. Like, 40, like, no, hundreds of girls on a stairwell waiting, and there was security blocking the stairs. We couldn't get off the stairs unless we had to go to the bathroom. What? Yeah. That's, like... It was wrong. literally like child abuse. Um, that it was terrible. Wrong. But if we're like starting like meet and greet wise, first like real meet first, and greet. The first meet and greet was pretty much their the function tour, right? Yes, and that was what twenty sixteen? No, no, twenty seventeen. Well, ours graduated, so it was like twenty nineteen. Twenty nineteen. Wow. Um, the first time we met them, not not good. Experience. No, it, not them. I mean, no. Well. Uh, the thing about meeting bands and meeting famous people, if you pay for a meet and greet, you are only getting thirty seconds. It, abs- them. Exactly, you're getting thirty seconds. You're getting a picture, maybe a poster, and maybe front row, for yeah. that money. And like, and it's not like the artist's fault. I don't think it's the artist's fault because every meet and greet we've I've been to or anybody, that's how it is for everybody. Like you, you stand in a line. You get there, they say hi, sometimes you get a hug, whatever, take a picture, and then you walk out. I don't know. I feel like the artist could have a say in it, you know? Yeah. But. I know. I just, getting older, I feel like 
meet and greets aren't worth it. No. Aren't worth the money. Mm Mm-mm. But when you're younger, it is fun, because we were... So, okay, so the first time we met them, we were, like, really nervous, and we didn't... We didn't know how to act. We didn't know what to do. We didn't know what to expect. And in line, we met some people, which helped, I think, because they were like, yeah, we've never done this either. Um... Shout out to Maya. Hey, girl. I don't even remember meeting her the first time. Yeah, dude, the first time we met her, she got us almost... No, we didn't get the front row that time. time. We were miserable oh. in that pit. So, okay, yeah. So, so like, me and greets, whatever. The f- if I feel like my biggest piece of advice, like, not even just for me and greets, but concerts in general, is, like, it is what you make it. Like, you have to make it fun, yeah. or else you're not going to have fun. Like... Your experience is, like, so, like, the first time we met, pretty much, we were, like, scared. We didn't really talk. We didn't really say anything. Um, we got in, we took a picture, and then we left. And then the second time we met, pretty much, we, like, were looking at each other, and we're like, okay, we're going to, like, we're going to do it right this time. We're doing this. We're going to go in. Yes. We're going to whatever. And we went in, and we were, like, we were a much more, like, energetic. More comfortable. We were much more confident. We and, knew what to expect. And we, like, actually talked to them. Yeah. I think the thing is, is, like, the artists do want to talk to you. But the people taking the photos are, like, literally pushing you out of the way. And their team. Their yeah. team is so, like, okay, we have to be on time. We have to be on this schedule. Yeah. And, which, yeah, because you have to keep the line going. You can't mm-hmm. have people, like, have a whole conversation yeah. with them. But we did get to say, but, like, hi. Yes, we did talk to them more. Yeah. Then I feel like more people will... Well, because I was, like... <laughs> I, I had Chachi my, Kate came I, out to I, play I, a little I bit. I had my hair curled, and, and I was posing with this the singer from Pretty Much... And he had his, like, arms, like, around my neck. Because, like, we were posing, like, a, like, a little prom photo. Mm-hmm. Um, and then I literally, I don't know what came over me. I think it was because we decided to, that we were going to go in, like, head first and, like, have a good experience. Yeah. I turned around and I was like, um, you just covered my hair and it looks really good today. And they all started laughing and they were like, he was like, oh, my bad, my bad, let's say it again. And then they took a second photo and you could tell the person taking the pictures was like, come on. Like, like we got to really? get going, yeah. Um, and then... Oh, my God. And then they called off. So we took the photo the first time. You started to walk away. And then and I turned around and said to Nick, you just covered my hair and it looks really good. And then Brandon. That's right. That's fucking right. Literally. Wait. The, the band literally had to call they off. They were all going on, on. Because they, they did. Oh. No, cause you go on and they all go yeah, on, come I'm like, back. I'm like, on, come back. And I just remember I was like. She I turned around. She's like. I went numb. I was like. Oh, yeah. What? So. So not only once, but thrice I got to thrice. hug that man. Um, yeah, so that was it. So, like, it is what you make it. If you make it a good experience, it's going to be a good experience. Yeah. I remember seeing a lot of stuff, like, recently because um, the Sterniolo triplets, like, went on a tour. Mm-hmm. And a lot of people were, like, bitching about how they paid, like, hundreds of dollars to meet them. And it was, like, a photo. And then the, you were gone. That's but that's how, what it is. Yeah, that I'm, is what it is, and that's how it felt the first time we met them, because... You felt like you were gypped. Yes, we waited in line for hours. But the thing is, again, like, I don't think it's necessarily, like, the artist or the performer's... No. <clears throat> ...choice. I think it's more of, like... So, going into it, you kind of need to know, like, that that's, like, what you're gonna be getting. Yeah. Um, the first time that we met, pretty much, their photographer was, like, asking people in the line, like, questions, Kai, Mm. and we got to be in, like, a little tour recap video of the Function Tour, which that was super cool, that was, like, the good thing that came out of that, but... Yeah, no, that was good. But, like, the bad thing about that was the pit, and because we're so small, it was just so miserable, and we That's a good thing to veer off into, the pit. The pit. Be prepared, be prepared, ladies. Know your know your strength, honestly, mm-hmm. because it is brutal in there. Go There's with a strong person. Pushing, pulling, especially for it stinks. Especially too. for like <laughs> like um, male artists, like they just want to get close to the it's stage. Insane. Yeah, and me and Katie were just trying to survive that whole time. The first pretty much concert was. They themselves were great, but our experience, but our experience was terrible. Probably a zero. For if her. if you're not like fourth row at a show and you're in the pit, it's just it's terrible. Mis- it's unless it's you're tall. All, yeah, Autumn and yeah. I are short, we're so we can short. really see. But but the second time we got second barricade. time we were front. Yeah, we were on the barricade. And it did suck a little because we kept getting pushed to the mm. barricade, which hurt a little. But but it, like yeah, the things you need to know row. for like being in the pit one. 
If you finna be in the pit, you need to you know. You finna be in the pit. You need to know these rules. One, bring a freaking water bottle. Yeah. Put your hair up because my hands kept getting stuck in this girl's hair in yeah, front of girl, me. Yeah, girl, put your hair up. Um, three, be nice. Be nice. There's no reason to be we mean. We know you want to get to the front. So there's, do we. There's, let's work together. Let's make it a healthy competition. A healthy, you know. Yeah. yeah. No need to push and pull. None of the, my little sister's over there. Can yeah, I get my their, friend's up in no. the front. Can we get there? No, bitch. We, no, know, we know what you're sorry. doing. Sorry, we would like to feel their sweat on us, too. Yeah. So. so. But there's no need reason to be a bitch. Like, no. just be nice. Be nice. Um, third, third rule, maybe bring some deodorant. Wear deodorant. Put Wear deodorant, deodorant on. It gets no matter, sweaty Even if you're in there. the nosebleeds, but Wear specifically deodorant. the pit. Wear deodorant. Wear deodorant. Um, Nobody don't expect to, to see much no. unless you're in the first or second mm-hmm. row. I honestly if, would not recommend being in the pit. No, because you're in the pit and you, you can see them a little bit. Unless you're very front row. Yeah. And you're hearing the music, which is great, but you mm-hmm. want to see them. So me and Katie have been getting mezzanine tickets for yeah. most of the shows that we go to. And like, honestly, I feel like we're at that age now where it's like we don't care if the artist like sees us. But like when we were like younger, we were like, oh my god, really oh my god. like and why don't we when we saw it? <gasps> my god, I forgot we were in the when pit. We why don't saw, we too? Yeah, we were like fourth row though somehow. Why don't we was good. That was good. That's what I say. Like fourth. Yeah. To front row, I feel like you're okay. Yeah. But. Just, like, being in the pit is, like, kind of scary. It is. Um, and we had to hold our... So, after the meet mm-hmm. and greet, the second meet and greet, we got... We didn't get one for... Yeah, we did. For both of them. Mm-hmm. We had to hold our bags, which had the poster in it. Yeah. And our lanyard our merch, and, and merch and everything. I think that's probably f- every meet and greet for yeah. whoever. Like, if you get in so, line and you get merch first and you get posters or whatever, you have to hold that the whole time yeah. in the pit. So come prepared with, I don't mm-hmm. know how you're going to do it, but I've done it with, I put it in, like, sweatshirt hole or yeah. I or like if you're, it through a belt If hole. you're allowed to have a small bag, like, pull it through, like, the strap of your bag yeah, or whatever. Yeah, tie it to it mm-hmm. or roll up super, super tight. You can stuff it yeah, in your bra our, if Our you posters want. were completely bent and squished. But like, they made it. <laughs> yeah. Barely. Barely. Yeah. But... Are we going to get meet and greets again for them? Probably. 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 Announce a tour. I think, yeah, I think, like, that was just, like, the biggest takeaway is that you have to just make it good. Y- you, you have to make it Your experience time. depends on how you go about it. Yeah. And I know waiting in line freaking sucks. But we made so many friends. Exactly. And we still talk to them. And it may be, like, 90 degrees when you're doing it, but... Or you well, have, why don't we was free? Why don't we was so, so was the first pretty much member. Yeah. Yeah. So also come prepare with that. Like we had our moms take our coats and stuff before Eat we before. went in. Eat before. Yes. Eat before. And people be passing before. out in the pit and stuff. There's yeah. no reason for that. No, you don't want that. Or drink before because it's freaking expensive at every venue. Mm-hmm. So don't buy venue alcohol. No. Well, I we I literally yeah. just did, but <laughs> it's like. It's so expensive because they know you'll buy it. Yeah. Um. I don't drink. I can't drink. So I get a little water. Or a little Red Bull. Or a little Red Bull. Um. But probably a good idea to drink before. Like, Kaylani, they got, um. We got shots $15 before. shots before. Holy shit. We would have spent less on the freaking Yeah, menu. they were, because it was in Detroit. <laughs> um. And you expect it to be cheaper at restaurants than mm, venues. It wasn't. Yeah. It Very wasn't. Wrong. They were wrong. Yeah. <laughs> Um, but yeah, we, there's nothing wrong with being in the nosebleeds either. Yeah. And I'm not just saying that because we can't afford to be front row everywhere. And if you do have nosebleed seats or a seat in general and you're not in pit, it does not matter what time you get there. You no! don't have to be in line. You, you don't have to freak- get there when there is no line and you can go to your seat. There. That is so funny to me so when I see people waiting out line into the, in the, like, why are you, like, just wait for, yeah, cause. I get like GA if you're like in the pit, you want to be. If yeah. you want to, if you want to stand in the pit and you want to be like at the barricade, you need to be there at least like ten hours before. Yeah. Like I swear to God. Yeah. If you think, oh, I'll get here at this time because nobody will be there, people will be there. Mm-hmm. So go like four hours ahead of the time. We thought no one would be there for the second meet and greet because we got there at like twelve and we were probably like fifteenth in line. Yeah. The only reason we got in front was because we cut. Yeah. Thank you. Don't Maya. cut, guys. 
don't cut but also like if you can find a nonchalant way to cut do yeah it. <laughs> if if pretty much would have let me go and they didn't call me back i would have gotten us barricade and you could have just got the picture yeah oh my god i could have just gotten one by myself <laughs> but yeah i mean it is very worth it and concerts then, are a great experience absolutely and like even like so we just went are we going to talk about Jaden? Yeah, let's no? talk about Jaden. Yeah. We went to see Jaden Hostler um, in Grand Rapids, and that was amazing. One, he is so freaking good. He's so He's talented. He's so talented, dude. And we weren't, like, huge fans of him before we went, or even Beauty School Dropout. We did not know who Beauty School Dropout was. Mm-hmm. We didn't know any other music. But now we're, like, obsessed now, with them. They're so freaking like, good. Literally. I um, loved Jaden's music before, but I wasn't ever, like... What? Like hardcore, yeah. Whoa, but, <laughs> that hurt my voice. But now I'm but, like, it's toxic. It's toxic. Mm-hmm. Like whatever. You know what I mean? Now we're like, like, it's pretty now catchy. we're emo girls. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah. that just kind of goes back to the saying like, concert experiences are what you make you it. You make it because we literally had an experience where we were gonna leave beyond pissed, and then I was like, no, we're not. Like we're gonna fix this. Mm-hmm. And it, well, it started great. Let's start. No, there. it did start great. It did. We got there because we bought a table a couple days before. Because highly recommend again, that. we were talking. We were like, we don't want to be in the pit, so we asked somebody. One, to know we about have anxiety it. in general, and two, we didn't want to be standing in the pit. Yeah, especially at like a rock show. Mm, we didn't know what to Are expect. We've never me? been to a rock show. Mm-mm. So well, I have, but it was old people rock. Oh. But um, so Sweet like a couple man. days ago, <laughs> was it Leonard Skinner? No, it was the struts. Oh, well, it was not that old. Twice. Yeah, but there were old people in the pit. We were talking how we didn't want to be in the pit. So we texted somebody, Joey, Joey. who is like a regular at the internet. Joey center. Lang. And we were like, how do you get a table? Because we've heard about him. And he was like, just email them. So Katie did her little thingy thing and got our table. And we got there. And it was like... So you had a we had a personal waiter. Uh huh. We had literally we could see everything. We were so close to the stage, but we could sit the whole time. Are you yeah. kidding me? And it was how much was it? Ninety dollars. It was worth the money. So if you like the venue you're going to is like a smaller venue and they have like tables. Highly recommend to it. reserve and sit whenever and you know you don't want to be in the pit. Ours 10 came out of 10. with three wristbands. Mm-hmm. Me, Katie, and we gave the other one to our sister Lexi. But she didn't even sit there. But no. <laughs> but she like she kept all her yeah and they could keep, keep their coats and, and stuff. stuff with us so it was nice for them yeah oh that's another thing if you're going to a show and you're going to stand in the pit maybe don't, don't bring, bring don't bring unnecessary things that you don't yeah. need to be holding on to at all easy easy to lose things don't bring mm-hmm. that or yeah if you if you have like an ugly jacket you're like i don't care if i lose this use that as your co- i just yeah tooted with my mouth but use <laughs> that as your concert jacket but Anyways, yeah, so the Jaden show was so freaking good. Yeah, you want to tell them why? Um, so we, it was just, like, amazing. Like like I said, you have to make concerts your bitch, okay? Mm-hmm. If Autumn and I went in there, like, shy, like, little girl, blah, blah, no, we would not have had any fun. No. So I think the good started, one, well, beauty school dropout. We, mm-hmm. like, did not, who, not know who they were, and, like, no. now we're, like, obsessed with them. But we, they were on stage... Blah, 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 blah. Anyways, when Jaden came on, Hunter Moreno was, like, tw- is touring with him because, like, he takes photos for him or whatever. And he was, like, standing on, like, this side of the table where we were at because we were on, like, a sectioned area because, mm-hmm. like, Jaden gave us these seats. Yeah, he, like, um, gave us the table because we, like, and Because, like, we make concert vlogs, and he's, like, this is good promotion for yeah. my show. So he wanted Auden Kate to be there. Mm-hmm. Um, anyway, so Hunter was, like, standing over there. And he was, like, taking photos or whatever. And I, like, got my camera. I was, like, oh, we're going to take a picture with him. No, actually, no. I was being creepy. I'm you first, and I was just recording. You put the video in. I, I'm going to put the video in. I have one of the. <laughs> I, I was being creepy at first, and I was just, like, video t- recording him. And then I was, like, oh, we're going to get a selfie. And she's, like, no. I was recording on my phone, but I <clears> sat down <throat> on the table because I was, like, fuck, I'm too scared. And, yeah, so then I literally held my phone up like this. As he walked by, I was, like, hey, Hunter. And he's, like, posed and, like, said hi, whatever. So, one, you got to be outgoing. Am I an outgoing person? You're outgoing, but not, to, like, right. you're, you're, I'm you're not, conservative when it comes to new people. Yes. I don't like talking to people, but you have to do what you have mm-hmm. to do. And Katie was the brave one at this concert. Normally, yeah, normally Oz the one who talks Usually to Usually I'm the bitch. But, um, <laughs> no, I actually was kind of a bitch. Um, 
Yeah, so we met Hunter. That was pretty cool. Yeah, and during beauty school dropouts, like, performance, they were like, come meet us at the merch table after. Yeah. Me and Katie looked at each other we're and like, said, we're but, going. <laughs> we're going to go. So, Jaden's very last song, we left our table or whatever. We're like, we're going to get first in line at the merch table so we can meet this band. And we were. And we were first I in line. I bought Jaden merch, and then we literally just slid over the counter mm. and waited. Yep. Probably, like, what, 15 minutes? Yeah. And then I... Like, some guy was back there, and I asked for, like, a shirt for Beauty School Dropout. He's like, oh, they're going to sell it to you. And I was like, what? They're going to sell it to us. Like, acting like we didn't. I'm like, what? What? (laughs) So, we're buying our, like, merch for them or whatever, and we're talking to the band, and, like, they're... We had matching nails. Right, but, like, Like, this this is the thing. Like, you have, like... You could, like, engage with them, right? Like, mm-hmm. they... Odd had red nails, and the drummer had red nails. And like, Coley. Yeah, and I was like, oh, my God, do you guys do your own nails? And blah, blah, blah. Like, we were, like, genuinely just, like, having conversation with them. And also, they shook our hands and asked what our names yeah, were. Yeah, and Bartle liked my name. <laughs> and they liked my hat. But... A no, hundred out of ten experience. They were literally. so sweet. We love so being genuine. a humble... We love a humble band. We love a humble band. And they were. And they definitely were. Like, they literally just, like, they didn't have to ask our names. They didn't have to shake our no. hands. Are you kidding me? That was so nice. But they did. But anyway, so there was, like, one of the members of the band was helping put, like, the instruments and stuff away at the end of the show. And this I was like, Chachi Kate I was, was like, where's the fourth one? Like, I want him to sign my shirt, too. Because I was like, he is <laughs> And they were like oh, he's coming, he's coming, wait right here. And I was like, okay, we're going to wait right here then. Like, we literally will stand here until he comes over here because I want him to sign my shirt. And they were like, yeah, that's fine. So we scooted over, whatever. We were standing there, and then the security guy goes, um, you guys got to go. And we were like, excuse me? And he's like, you got to go. I was like... And we are like, the band actually told us? I was like, yeah. The band actually said we could stay right here and wait. And he was like, no, No, you got to go. No, we to get people out. He was like, we got to get everyone out of here when you're done. And we're like, well, our sister is in here still. Yeah, we were like, we literally pointed, and we're like, that's our sister, like, we're gonna wait. And there, he's like, no, you gotta go. Yeah, he was like, you can wait for her outside. And we were like, bitch. So, so Katie was not having no. that. No, so we, well, we actually did walk out of, like, the, where the merch was, and then... We came back. We, I went up to the, uh, the lady who gave us our table, and I was like, listen, I'm not trying to, like, get you in trouble, but can we get back in there? <laughs> because we were waiting in line for... Beepus, a man named Beepus, boy. to sign our shirt, and the security guy just, like, kicked us out. It's like, we literally bought merch. Like, we are paying people. We just bought this merch. The band themselves, freaking Coley, told us to stay there, and they kicked us out, and she's like, oh, yeah, I got you. My husband works here, too. Yeah, she was like, my husband's a security guard. So Don't we worry. literally walk up to freaking <clears throat> Beepus, and she was going to say something to him because we were just waiting for him to sign it. And he's like, oh, I got to go. He's like, I got to go. I'm so sorry. Because people were still in the merch line waiting for him. Yeah. So we were like. What, understandable. We were literally like this. I was like. Yeah, but like, he literally, literally walked, walked away. right in front of us. and So we had to get back in line a second time. And we waited for them again. Like 15 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> and then we were the last ones to meet them. So like, um, that was good. And then that was good. I had him sign. I was like. That we um, ran we, out of there. We had to wait twice in line for you to sign our shirt, so I think you should sign, like, top to bottom. So his my whole shirt is, like, his name. It's literally just And then this. he smelled our friend's shoe. She had him sign her shoe, and he literally, like, sniffed he literally. it. I was like, that's icky. Um, but they were so nice. So, like, meet... If you have the chance to, like, meet a band after the show, like, take it. it. Literally. There's no reason not to. It's so fun. Cancel your plans. Do it. And stick up for yourself. Because me and Katie think about that experience literally at least three times a day. That was, like, one of my favorite concerts ever. Because Literally. Literally because of the opening act. Yeah. Like, they, it was so fun. And you have to, like, stick up for yourself. Like, you paid to be there. Mm -hmm. You paid to see this band. You pay, you're freaking paying the venue. You're here as, like, a person, like, supporting this whatever. Yeah. And if. Like, obviously, obviously follow the rules, right? Like, if if we were just waiting there and weren't buying any merch or anything, Mm -hmm. like, obviously, yeah, we'll leave. Like, we're not supposed to be here. But, you know, like, you you just, you have to stick up for yourself. Yeah. Um, Because if we would have left, we would have regretted We would have been so pissed. Like, we regret leaving iParty because as soon as we left, mm -hmm. Matt Bennett went up in our section and stood where we sat. Yeah, and high-fived everybody. Yeah. So. I forgot about that. Yeah. 
That one doesn't. That one doesn't bother that one, me much. I, it bothers me Does a it? lot. Yeah. <laughs> <I> think <laughs> That's about funny. That, that one doesn't bother me much, honestly. Yeah. I do I like. Know. I do like me some Robbie Shapiro. Because we left, and my friend literally sent a video, and she goes, "Where did you go?" She was like, "My was literally." <clears> my friend texted me the next day and said, "Did you know that he high fived your section?" I was like, "Yeah." Yeah, we do. We did. Yeah. Yep. Thanks. Yeah. Um. Hmm. And I will say another good experience was like the Harry Styles concert. Because everybody's just so positive there. Like, Amy, we, we can find a place to feel good. So, yeah. And we can <coughs> treat people with kindness to find a place to feel good. Well, yeah. Rock on, <laughs> Iron Maiden, baby. Yeah. Yeah, so Autumn and I are, like, total rock stars now. Yeah, we're going to become emo um. Oh, no, our life goals now people. are to be rock star girlfriends. Yeah, we want to be rock star girlfriends. So or just the rock star. Whichever yeah. one comes first, and then we'll, we'll play off it. after. Yeah. Yeah. So, um. But. Any rock stars want to no, date us? No, we've seen. We were actually talking about this, like, our top three concerts. Jaden it's made it so freaking hard. It's hard. I say that for every concert. I, I say this made it in my top three. I think, like, going, like, artist-wise, seeing, like, Kehlani's my number one forever and always, so, like, mm-hmm. she's my number one. And then, like, I think experience-wise, I would genuinely put pretty much up there out of everybody I've seen, and we've seen so many people, and I think I would put Jaden in there. I think I would, too. But That's... if I, but if we went by, like, names, I would yeah. say Kehlani, Harry Styles, Ariana Grande, The Weeknd, whatever. Justin. Justin Bieber, One Direction. Selena. Selena. Holy shit. Yeah, One Direction. But oh, frick. Honestly, for me, the smaller venue concerts are so way much, more fun. It feels There's just, so much more interactive. Yes, I was just going to say it just it feels more personal. Inter- yeah, personal with the mm-hmm. artists and and there's more chances to meet them and yeah. stuff. Yeah. And another tip is stay till the end of the concert. You never know like Matt what Bennett. could go on. Yeah, like Matt Bennett, like um Jaden. Mhm. Like a lot of people and just left because the line was so long. Yeah. But if you waited, it went. And like that we bad. saw, we saw games we play, and we we he, said hi to him. Emin was like signing people's shirts and stuff. We weren't waiting in line because I don't know why we didn't wait in line. I, I think because we already got our greet. merch. Yeah. Oh, it was the meet and greet. Right? Yeah. But <laughs> but like we waved him. And he said hi, and I, me and Amber took a photo. He was like signing. He was like talking to people, but he, we were like we got a picture with him. <laughs> you just you gotta do it. You just gotta make you it. You gotta do it. It is what you make. If you're thinking about doing something that, well, it's, it's, how do I put this? If you're thinking about something good that will impact your life, but you're scared of doing it, do, do it. it. Because we didn't think do that it, meeting bitch. the opening act of Jaden would literally change our lives, but it has in a way. Like, it, it, like it just made us happy. It made us happy. Yeah. And that's rare. And we don't come by that feeling often. Yeah. <laughs> So, yeah. no, but for real, though, like, I genuinely, like, love their music. Like, we found, like, I mean, I die for you. the opening opening acts, like, I would say do your research on the opening act because it makes it way more fun. Mm-hmm. I wish we would have listened to Beauty School Dropout first because Me then too. we could have, like, we really vibed. So I fun. mean, we were vibing to them anyways. Yeah. But if we would have known their songs beforehand. So I would say that's another big thing, like. Do your research on the Give opening a listen. act. Like, I listened to Rico Nasty before we saw yeah, her. Yeah, we made sure we knew what, like, Rico was saying. Yeah. City Girls, we knew some of City Girls. Mm-hmm. Who else opened We for listened Jack? to some of um the guy who opened for Games We Play a little bit. Yeah, PM Beta. Sorry. I just yeah, so it's it's always good to know. Just because it makes the experience more fun. You're not just, like, sitting there for, like, a half hour listening to somebody you don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and it is a good, like, opportunity yeah. to find new music. And technically, like, you did pay to see them, too, so, like, Yeah, enjoy so it. you might as well know their music. Or, stuff. Um, like, Destin Conrad, we like him now, mm-hmm. and we didn't really know his music before. Actually, I didn't know his music. I didn't know any of him. So, but after we were, like... Or, like, um, Keith Urban, who, um, Ingrid Andrews. Andrus, yeah. She, she was good. We knew some of her songs. Yeah. Also, country, country shows are freaking They're bomb. so fun. I just They're went so to Kane Brown, and... They're so, like, just, like... Like, everyone's drunk, so it's, it's like, you can like, yeah. just be yourself. Like, I mean, if 
Uh, I mean, we we live in West Michigan where everybody thinks they're from freaking Tennessee anyways, mm-hmm. so it really wasn't much different. You're from but Michigan. But, like, if you're from, like, Los Angeles you or, milk and or something, you probably will not like a country music no. show, but I loved like, it. But Kane Brown, that was freaking fun, dude. I'm sure that was good. Like, I'm, I, like... And he, like, viewed my story after That's insane concert. to me. He's I know. so freaking famous. That's what I'm saying. Like, Kane Brown. I don't so, understand. That's insane. Yeah. So, like, I'm pretty, I'm famous or whatever. Like, we're friends. I can't believe so, that happened. Same. Kane Brown. I, I couldn't believe my eyes when I saw it in the Kane morning. Kane Brown, dude. That's crazy. Yeah. He's so freaking yeah. famous. Yeah. Um, I, yeah. I went to Birthday Bash. Birthday Bash was fun, too. Like, country, I bet country I want to go to Birthday fun. Bash. Faster Horses, the lineup Ooh, is not that good this year, except no? for Shania Twain. <gasps> I would only Let's go, go for girls. Shania Twain. And I think that Bailey Zimmerman is going. <gasps> I'm obsessed with him. Maybe. Rockin' hard blinds. Oh, that's what he sings? Yeah. And um, that's when I lost it. Midnight in all stand. Damn, I'm exhausted. And if you have any questions, Baby, comment them. Or comment on any of our socials, any concert questions you have. Because then we could do those in a video, too. Anywho, go to concerts, have fun. Go to concerts, Stick up for yourself. spend your money on concerts. A lot of people are like, oh, it's a one-night thing. Why would you spend that much money Because it, it makes you so because freaking it makes you happy. happy. If it makes you happy, freaking do it. If, you, if it makes you happy and you have the means and it's not going to hurt anybody, mm-hmm. do it. Do it. There's no reason not to. And it's not their money. No. It's your money. Half Spend of, it, girl. Half of the best moments of our lives have been at, like, concerts. Like, literally. Every moment of my life. Every best moment, I swear to God, has been at a concert. hmm And the first Why Don't We concert, or the only Why Don't We concert we both went to together. Yeah. Someone recognized us from our videos. That so was, that was, like, and another we had special one, moment. And we had one YouTube video. One. Out. Crazy. It was insane. But. but yeah. yeah. Take it from us. Take it from okay. Your night will go however you make it. So Slay, be happy. Sister. Have fun. Snap. Don't be a bitch. Stick well, up for yourself. Well, be a bitch if people are being a bitch to you. Be a bitch. Yeah, be, be a, a bitch, bitch but, like, no. your way. But, like, read the room first before you're going to be a bitch. Yeah. Like, is it appropriate or is it not? Yeah. Like, are you just being a like, bitch because take... you don't want somebody to stand in front of you? That's not right. That's not how we're going to spend no. our time here, sis. No. But be a bitch if... If the band if literally the band, told you personally yeah. to stand there and then you got kicked out. Just don't get kicked out of the concert. Don't be that big of a bitch. Don't be. That's embarrassing. Yeah, also. that's embarrassing. So, um. That's embarrassing for you. I hope you guys take this with a grain of salt. <laughs> take what? Everything we just said. Oh. <laughs> Keep it in your minds for a concert to go to. Tag us in your concert videos. That's one. Like, I'm saying this like we have fans. Tag care. us in your concert videos. Um, yeah, thank you for watching. Yeah. We will see you guys next time. Follow on us on every- I'm, I'm sorry, what? what? Let's do an emo voice. Okay. Five, six, seven, eight. I'm sorry, what? what? Uh, rock and roll. Oh my god.